What's up everybody, it's time now to go to Blackpool. So it's just after 6 o'clock in the morning on 19th February 2022. I'm just going to head now to Dean's and we're going to get in his car. I'm going to go to Blackpool. So we're nearly there, got three mile left. Set off about 10 past 7 this morning. So it was a bit later than what we expected, but it would be a good time, wouldn't we? Not bad, we're getting there. 2.7 mile to go. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> This is Hoodoo, the haunted Hoodoo doll. I just put him on my hands like this. Nothing there, nothing there. Watch, I focus. And the little Hoodoo man. I wonder what it looks like you're going to give me an award. Oh, look at that, I can turn around. <laughs> if I'm really good, sometimes I can actually get the Hoodoo doll to stand on one leg. And then when you finish, you just cut the thread, <laughs> the invisible thread, and you finish. <laughs> and that's the haunted voodoo doll. Now for something even better. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this is the trick that gets me all the girls. I know this looks really weird, but I get him. The willy, it's the dick of the convention. The dick of the convention. Okay, so I'm going to show you it in my phone. Okay, I'll, I'll put it on lock, unlock it, and I'll leave it. Uh, I'll leave it on the table like this. Okay. Some cards. Okay. What I like to do is give you the cards. Just tap the back of any card you want. Tap one. That one. Have a look at it. Remember it. Zoom in on the door. Put it back. Okay. Now, if I put the cards in my hand like this, I'm going to try and take my phone. I'm going to try and get your card. Okay, watch. They're going to try and find your card. Look. Crap. I got one. Look, I actually got one card. See that? That's in the phone. What was your card? Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Look, I'll take it out. And it's the eight of diamonds. <laughs> This is a bit weird, but I want you just to pour a little bit of water in my hand. No. Perfect. And just put the bottle on the table. Don't worry about it. Hold it in your hands. If I just take the water like this and I start to rub, I can actually get, you're going to start to feel it getting a bit colder. Do you feel that getting colder? If I just squeeze it a little bit more, it's actually starting to fuse into ice. <laughs> <laughs> because if you just rub it like this, it goes. <laughs> Try it again. Is that on? It's on. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, hello. Uh, can I curse this? I just did. <laughs> Deal with it. Hello, boys. I'm Mark Calabrese. I lectured yesterday. I did a bunch of shows. I was really good, and I got st three standing ovations. I did two shows. got three standing ovations. I don't even know what that means. But I had a great time. Black Bull 2022. That's all I got, guys. I'm very tired. I don't have my Red Bull today, but... You're going to check the show. Oh, uh, ready? Yeah. Dean, look. We have a car here. Dean, Keith, is he... Uh, uh, Keith, name a car, Keith. King of Hearts. King of Hearts? Close enough. <laughs> you, want, you want Jack of Hearts? We're going to do Jack of Hearts because I'm prepared right. for that. Jack of Hearts, one card, like so. Dean, Jack of Hearts, and there's a Jack of Hearts, just like so. That's on the floor. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Gary. I'm going to show you something. There's one thing I love about coming to the Blackpool Convention. It's not the magic, it's the gift shops. I love gift shops. And I pick these up. We've got about 200 decks each at home. I always grab decks of cards. These ones, they're a bit cheap and nasty, but I like them. And the reason I like them, they've got different locations in the world. Now this is like sort of 50, 52 places you should visit before you die. Yeah, so it's, it's obvious places. Loads and loads of different places. Now, when I'm showing you these places, it looks like I'm just showing the cards. I'm trying to influence you. So there's something very subtle on these cards. I don't know if you can see it, but as I spread through, there's something very subtle that hopefully will influence your decision. Is it obvious? It's very subtle. Let's see if it's worked. Just do me a favor, please. Can you just cut the cards roughly in half, place them down there? Quick question for you. Do you like travel? Yeah. Have you travelled? You've been, a, you've been a few places? Let's see if this has worked. If you take the card that you've cut to, do you know what? You're a nice guy, I have a few cards. I have three or four cards. Just take those cards for me. I want you to look through them, choose one that you'd like to keep and put the other three on the table. Obviously don't show me the one that you're keeping. Yep. Okay, you happy? Right. So you've had a completely free choice. You've cut the cards. You've had a choice of any of these. I mean, which ones didn't you go for? Paris, London, and Pisa. So have you been to these places? Been to London. You've been to London. We've all been to London. <laughs> so you've got one left. Yeah. Okay, have you been to this place? No. Can you imagine yourself there? Yeah. Okay, just imagine you're there for me. You're looking around. You're looking up, you're looking down. Is there anything like a, a, a monument or something something that you would associate with this place? Yeah. There is. Okay, just think of that for me. It's green. I'm seeing it's green. But it wasn't always green, was it? It's green now. It could be the River Thames, couldn't it? It's green. <laughs> <laughs> is it the statue? Are you in New York? Statue of Liberty? Fantastic. Well, remember I said to you that the cards were going to be influencing your decision. It wasn't actually the faces, it was the backs. So you chose the Statue of Liberty. Check this out. I just take a card and, and people always ask me for a, a business card but I don't always carry, a, uh, carry them around with me but being a magician I do always have a packet of playing cards. So I can say is I'll just use my playing card and draw the details on. And then uh, I'll just give you this and then if you just keep that and then if you ever need me or anything, you know, you can just... I'll, tell you, I'll put you a few in there so if you can... And then, uh, yeah, you can take that out. Do this for you. Have you ever seen cards like this before? So, like, cards like this. So these are like um, stock photography cards, right? So someone's like, look, I could take an artful picture of a tennis ball and book me for a magazine. Um, we'll do this, I'll do this for you. Uh, you know, we, we can shuffle them or whatever, but because uh, I don't want you to think there's anything tricky going on. Uh, go ahead and slide one out. Anyone? That one? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, go ahead. Take it and look at it. I'm going to work out what that one is, but I'm not... But I'm going to get a couple of cards, so we'll do this. Um, oh, you're looking at the cactus. It's 
pretty direct, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually, I'll show you how that works. And uh, what you do, no, you don't need to turn it off. Keep going. I'm going to show you how this works. Everybody should know how this works. Um, so what you do is I get a couple of cards out of here. Because a lot of people think it's like stack work or something. It's not. I get some cards out and I do what's called free association. It's like a little free association game. So like I see the cup and I think about like the coffee I had this morning in my hotel. It was terrible. It was like instant coffee. It wasn't really good. I wish it had like tea or something like that. And I came down to here. And it took a while getting into the dealer's room because there was a uh, traffic intersection and my clothes got wet. So I'm going to have to dry these things. And I haven't even gotten anywhere in the dealer's room to be able to see like any of the books yet. And um, you know, that and those books, you know, I like books about the American Southwest. That's what made me think of cactuses. But Dean, I think you're clever enough to work this out. I mean, you could you could read into this trick, right? I'm going to show you two of my favorite things in the world, coffee and magic. I'm going to combine the two. Now, the coffee will be represented by the coffee cups, nice and simple. The magic, I'm actually going to teach you the five fundamentals of magic. So there's five main things that encompass all magic tricks. The cool thing about the cups and balls is that these run all five, where most tricks do one or two. And we're going to go through them. So to represent magic visually, I've got the classic magic wand, right? Now the the first part of fundamental of magic is the appearance. So if we look at the bottom cup, you'll notice the appearance of a bean on the bottom cup. Now one is cool, but we need three for the trick to work. So that's one, two, and three. Now that's the appearance, we can move down to the vanish. The vanish is where we take one of the beans, we touch it with the magic wand, and it vanishes. We can do it again. We take the second one, touch it with the magic wand, and it vanishes. That's one and two, leaving number three my favorite. My favorite because you'll see the second this one goes, just like the others, they don't go far, they go under the cups. So that takes care of the appearance and the vanish. The next is the transposition. I never knew what that meant, so I'll show you visually. That's where you put one bean under each cup, and then I use the wand to steal the middle bean and have it transpose over to here. So gone from the middle and right over to here. Now my mentor said you should never repeat a magic trick. Never do it twice. So I like to do a trick twice. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna put one bean under each cup and just like before, we're gonna have it transpose. But this time we'll take the end ones and knock them into the middle. Gone from the ends and all three into the middle. Now if you look here, it says defy nature. What the hell does that mean, right? I think defy nature means something like a solid object going through a solid object, defying the laws of nature. Or better still, if we took two cups and passed one solid cup through another solid cup, that defies the laws of nature, right? I think the easiest magic tricks in the world should be really simple to follow. For instance, three beans in a cup. I put one bean, two beans in the cup, and one bean goes in my pocket. All I have to do is tap the cup, and we have three beans once again. So again, that's one bean in the cup, that's two beans in the cup, one bean goes in the pocket. All I have to do is tap, and once again, three beans come out. So very simple to follow, right? Now, I'll be honest with you here. The trick is not in the cups. The trick is not in the wand. The trick is actually in the beans themselves. Let me explain. If I take one of the beans, I put it in my pocket, and I just tap my pocket and then the cup, that bean will come right back under the cup. We can do it again. If I take a bean, place it in the pocket, I tap the pocket, tap the cup, sure enough, the bean comes back under the cup. Now, some people don't think I'm really doing what I say I'm doing, so I'll do it very slowly. One bean into the pocket. All I do is tap the pocket and tap the cup, and sure enough, one bean comes back. Now the last fundamental of magic is called transformation. Transforming from one thing to the next, like we're all trying to do in life. So for instance, maybe we're transforming a small bean into a much larger one, the transformation. If you missed that one, you might have missed the transformation of these ones also. And that's my story. Thank you very much. I'm sticking to it. Now the best part, they think the trick is done, right? And in this moment, we get the grand finale. They're not loaded, but what you would get is, boom, an explosion of coffee beans on each side, and then a cheers to the audience. As you cheers them, a liquid load comes out, right? So the loading system hangs off the back of the table. This is the one that holds the coffee beans. It's adhered with three magnets. All I have to do is casually come to the end of the table and that magnetizes in automatically. 
does that on both sides as well as the liquid load in the middle. So you pour liquid on one side, roll it over and it's stored in there. Once I steal this off, all I have to do is tip the cup up, that makes the liquid fall into the other side, snap, I put a shot glass down and I pour out espresso, right? Also because all three cups are chopped, we also supply a bean that is shimmed, but it's shimmed and weighted very perfectly so you can do your favorite chop cup routine without having to slam the cup down. So you can do the, do you hear the bean in there? Great. Is that bean in my pocket or under the cup? I'll give you a hint pocket or cup and just in that motion the bean will dislodge right so that's the coffee cups and beans you get everything you see plus the metal arms these metal arms go under your table out of the sight line and those obviously hold your final loads and again the final load is boom casually come over touch it for a second and you're loaded in all right so that's the coffee cups and beans thank you very much a bottle of intrigue that just one of you, fucking hell. <laughs> all together or not at all, yeah? A bottle of intrigue. Ooh. Thank you. Have a look. Be intrigued. Open it. Have a smell. It's dragon tears. Quite flammable. You can leave the lid off. That's all right. Saves me time. <laughs> have a smell. Have a smell. Mm. Have a smell. <laughs> bit like petrol, yeah? yeah Dra dragon that. tears. A little bit like petrol. We're going to have you choose a card and we're going to use the Dragon Tears, the most flammable substance known to man, as a catalyst to create a phoenix. And we're going to use that phoenix to resurrect your card from the ashes, like the mythical bird. So we're using a mythical beast to create another mythical beast. Joe, say stop for me. Stop. Uh, stop for me. Yeah. Take it, shoot the camera. All right, boys, here we go. Show me. That would be key. Don't show me. <laughs> Show the camera. What I'd like you to do is fold it straight down the middle. This way? Yeah, straight down the middle. All right. When you do it, make sure you only do it long ways. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. You better do it long ways as well. Yes. Sausage. Yes. Yes. That's good. I'd like you to tear down those holes. In the quarters? Just tear the frame. We're yeah. not magicians. <laughs> Send one that way. Send one. Hey, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Lee, Lee, Lee. Shred them. 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 I'll take all the pieces and place them on top of the deck. Dragon tears are the most flammable substance known to man. A little goes a long way. Don't try this at home. Try it at someone else's house. Try it at a wedding, but don't do it at home. Right. By the way, it's not hot at all. <laughs> did you did you believe I burned myself? Yeah, no, it's called acting. Now I don't want to touch anything. Pick up the card. See if the card. Oh yeah, did burn. Yeah. Make sure it's a perfect match. No, add that. And also, absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's left. You. Thank you. Well, that's actually really nice. Amazing. So that's Phoenix. Can you unlock oh, it, yeah, yeah. Lindsay? Can I? Can you open, please, a uh, Google? Thank you so much.
Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so we have here all the celebrities of Google, Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> I don't know, maybe him, I don't know his name, or it can be, I don't know, the Queen, yeah? <laughs> It's a queen? No, it's not a queen! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> who wants to, to play? Dean! Dean? Okay. I made a prediction on Lindsay's phone. Dean, yep. you are going to scroll up and down, okay? And watching at me, whenever you want, you, you touch the screen and take off the, the finger. Touch and take off, okay? So, uh, okay, you can hold the, the... And look it at me. You can hold the... the look it at me and the camera too. <laughs> Did you touch? And you have the yep. person? Yep. Yeah? Okay, so, from Google, you scroll up and down and you touch wherever you want it, okay? Without, yep. without looking. Yep. And you touch Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, and I made a prediction on Lindsay's phone. Can you show to all, please? Leo DiCaprio. How are you doing? Uh, my name's Chris Cross and I've got the Enchanted Rabbit Magic Emporium. It's my first year dealing here at the Blackpool Magic Convention, the largest magic convention in the whole world. And I've just launched uh, this brand new book, The Jack Hughes Ultimate World of Magic. And it's a beautiful book and it's just launched here at Blackpool. It's taken me six months to get it all together and get it printed and it really is such a nice book so I've launched that really excited about it and to actually be holding it in my hands after seeing it on a computer screen for months I've got some um, really really beautiful magic ones this is the eternity wand um, it's the eternity wand made from the, the, the wood here uh, it's actually made the, the wood what, what, what was the wood from one of Paul Daniels' most famous illusions, the steel line casket escape, the actual wooden box that Paul escaped from. Uh, we've, I, I got hold of it and it was unrepairable. So we've used the wood um, and turned it into these beautiful ones. And they're all individually numbered on the end. So that one's number 15. And then on the other side, uh, on the other side we have the eternity symbol. And they come in this lovely collectible um, display case, which is nice. And each one comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by Chris Cross, the great magician of the North. And they're, they're a really beautiful collectible item, they really are. And other than that, I've got rare and vintage and antique magic from all over the world, from some of it in the 1920s, 1930s. And I've got all sorts of bought the card collection, uh, so we bought we a lot of the card collection original stock, gaff cards, uh, big array of cups and balls, and all sorts of rummage boxes here with all kinds of hidden treasure in. Um, so yeah, it's good. The Enchanted Rabbit Magic Emporium, Chris Cross and Claire. <laughs> Get a free tattoo gun with it <laughs> and instructions. What are you doing? Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs>